Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at Rust running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5600H. This is running on the B-Link SCR5 Mini PC. Now the game is currently set to everything to the absolute lowest graphics settings and we have taken a look at this game before running on APUs and at least with the 5500U we were getting some abysmal levels of performance but with this actual system we're getting some pretty decent levels of performance. We're at the full 1080p resolution. Now it is everything set to the lowest but just in general, visually speaking, it doesn't look too bad. We we do get the full resolution here and the level of performance that we're getting is actually pretty decent our one percent lows aren't amazing they are falling below 30 which is not exactly the right range that i would like it to be at but the fps average itself is really nice and if you look at the frame times which the frame times really show you what the consistency of the gaming experience is like that's where things actually get really really nice usually what actually ends up dropping the one percent lows is when you pull up the menu so anytime you're going through your inventory and things like that that's when the fps drop will actually end up happening but in general when you're actually just playing the game roaming around the world we're at above 30 fps for pretty much the entirety of the experience and the frame times as you can see here stay really really consistent they only go up when the fps drops when you open up a menu so what this means is that the one percent lows are a little misleading and that's the whole point of showing you everything here you can't just make a judgment call on how a game performs just based off of averages just based off of one percent lows and just based off of frame times you need everything to paint a picture of the overall overall gaming experience. And I'm here to explain to you how that works. Because if I only showed you the numbers, if I only showed you a chart without the actual gameplay, you would not really understand how this is actually performing. Because when you're actually playing the game, you're getting an above 30 FPS gaming experience consistently. So in general, I'm actually really impressed here. Now, of course, this is all early on in the game just because I loaded into a random server. I don't really play Rust much at all. I do have friends that play it. And after seeing the level of performance here, I'm actually considering streaming Rust playing it for around like six hours or something like that. Just something to get a real feel of what the game is like, especially getting into the late game and stuff like that, because the level of performance here is actually really, really impressive. Now, keep in mind, if you're looking to do things like PVP, this isn't going to be the greatest experience, especially as rockets and things like that are flying around the place. More than likely, things are going to become pretty difficult. But if you're someone that likes to play this in a more PVE or roleplay based sense, you're actually going to be able to do that pretty well. Of course, we can try to boost the performance a little bit by just dropping the resolution down to 900p and by dropping things down to 900p we actually do get a nice boost in terms of our averages and our one percent lows again you're still gonna have the same issue where as soon as you pull up a menu the one percent lows are gonna drop because your fes is gonna drop but when you're actually playing on the world itself things are for the most part pretty consistent you'll see the occasional spike here and there just because you know things need to be loaded in as you travel through the world but they load up real quick and you'll see how quickly those frame times recover so in general it is a really nice Nice experience and I'm actually blown away I never really thought that this game would be that playable on an APU because testing it before the results were not great even going down as low as 720p was not able to save this game on other systems so the fact that this is actually able to do this this well is really really impressive to me I'll probably actually end up revisiting rust on the 5500u because last time that we did test it it wasn't exactly the greatest result and I'm curious if the updated dx11 drivers actually had anything to do with this or if the game has just suddenly gotten more optimized i'm not sure but just in general the level of performance here is just remarkable it's really impressive and i absolutely am blown away so i more than likely will actually end up streaming this game i'm gonna get together with my friends i'm gonna figure out when would be a good time for us to just sit down and play it so you can actually tune in and see what the actual experience is going to be like this is one of those games where there's a lot of content and a lot to do here that might not be easy to see from just playing it for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour or two hours and the game does have a pretty heavy learning curve so it's one of those things where i personally just am not very used to playing this game so playing with people that are used to playing it and know what to do is going to be very helpful to actually get a full picture of what the results are going to be like but just in general from what i'm seeing here the level of performance is really really impressive we're already doing far better than any other apu system that we've tested before so definitely tune in for that live stream later down the road i really appreciate you watching if you're interested in actually picking up this mini pc you can check out the amazon affiliate links down below they really help to support the channel and you're actually going to be able to get, to get yourself a system that is really impressive in terms of the performance because i mean the results here at 900p are great but even at 1080p they were still great and that is really really nice and really impressive to see so i want to thank you for watching i will catch you in the next one